All right, this is SJ Talks and Light coming back at you with another video. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, please, and thank you. Um, Priscilla played a video. I guess it's it's uh, been circulating on YouTube, um, or in TikTok about this man. Um, very disturbing. This man was talking to his girlfriend. I guess it's a, uh, I don't know. If, I'm not clear if it was his wife or um, girlfriend. Or he was a live-in boyfriend or this is, was a, wife, a marriage. I'm not, I'm not sure about that. But he was talking to his mate, which is the woman. And he was saying um, that... Telling her that he was, I guess the daughter is a teenager. Um, not sure how the daughter is. She's a teenager. Um, was telling, basically, essentially telling the woman that um, I'm a man and, you know, I'm starting, your daughter's starting to look good to me. Um, I'm just letting you know that I'm checking out your daughter. Um, I'm a man, you know, I'm a man. That's that's I'm a man. He could basically telling her I'm a man and I'm is telling her I'm looking at your daughter. I'm noticing your daughter. Uh she's walking around here, she's starting to fill out and everything and um I'm a man and you know I got I, I got these feelings and you know and I'm I'm checking out your daughter. I mean that's probably not what he said ver verbatim or exactly what he said, but that's what it basically essentially that's what he was telling her he was telling her that um basically he's telling her he's a predator he's telling her he's a predator he's telling her that he's checking out her daughter and everything and then Priscilla um um pointed that out in her video she pointed it out in her video and um women um she pointed it out in her video and women um, she just put it on com her community tab how women were upset with her for pointing that out was because she talks she for like for, talk, for talking about men's nature um, that women are upset with her for talking about a man's nature because if you know you're aware of Prince Sella she talks about um, I like her content you know um um, she talks about um, man's nature um, and how how men think and all that kind of stuff and how they move and 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 she was basically I guess in reference to that video was talking about men's nature and she said a lot of women were upset with her because of that um, and um, I have to kind of I have to agree with Princella on this one. I don't agree with everything that she says. Some things I don't agree with, but I have to agree with her on this one. Um this man this this lady was actually blessed because a lot of these men won't let you know and they'll try to sneak around and mess around with your daughter behind your back. A lot of these men will not let you know. She is pretty blessed that this man let her know that he was honest enough to let her know that basically he's a predator. And she was arguing with him and debating with him in this video. And you no, know, and lots of people, including myself, are saying shouldn't be no debate. The man, he's if someone tells you who they are, you need to listen. Ladies, if a man tells you who he who he is, then you need to listen. This man was literally telling this woman who he was. And he was literally telling her that he's a predator and he likes to prey on young girls. OK, that's pretty much in a nutshell what he was telling her. So it shouldn't have been no debate. I don't care what kind of feelings you have, any kind of feelings that I would have had, you know, would have been out the out the window at that point. I don't care if this is your husband or because uh, he's basically warning her that, yeah, I'm going to try something, you know, because I'm looking. So 
And she better be glad. I think she should be grateful that he was honest enough to come forth and let her know that he's, a, in fact, a predator, that he wants to prey on her young daughter. Most of these men, most majority of, of them, will not give you no heads up. They'll just go behind your back and try to slip around with your daughter. You know, or try to molest your daughter. So she should be happy that this man was honest enough to come forth and say, hey, I'm looking at your daughter. He's literally telling you who he is. So it shouldn't have been no debate. She's debating with him. And I don't. I didn't even want to play the clip because it's very disturbing. She's sitting here debating with this man in the in the in the video. It's like, really? And lots me and a lot of other women were saying it shouldn't be no debate. Just just bounce. Take your daughter and leave. And with that being said, and they was getting mad at Princella because in reference to that video, she was talking about a man's nature. And you know, I have to agree with her on that. In in a sense that because I know like women say, well, not my husband. You know, they like to believe. And they, I'm not saying that all men are predators. But a good percentage of them are. A good percentage of men are predators. They like young women and young girls. I was preyed upon when I was a young girl. I was preyed upon. And a lot of people was coming in the comment section of that Um. um um, community tab. If you want to catch my uh, comment, I did put a comment on Prince Ella's community tab in reference to that that uh, video. If you want to check out my comment, I, 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 you, I, I go into detail about some things that I don't that I didn't talk about here. But um, yeah, I was preyed upon on when I was I was a young girl, and it, and it was a good good thing that I had good instincts. Um, men, most men by na at na by nature are predators. They're predators. Um, are there exceptions? Yeah, there are exceptions, but a lot of men are predators. They like young girls. I think that if it was legal, if it was legal, uh, you would be surprised at a lot of men that would mess with young girls if it was legal. Most men by nature are predators. A lot of them are. And I know that's a hard pill for a lot of women to swallow. There are some exceptions. But, and this is the reason why Women, women really need to be careful who they are allowing. And another thing, Peach McIntyre did a did a YouTube uh, short. Was it a you? I think it was a YouTube short. And she came on there telling single mothers that a lot of men prey on single mothers. She was talking talking about the reason why a lot of men hook up with single mothers. And she was talking about that. She was talking about they want to mess with your kids. A lot of women got mad at her. They got upset with her. Um, but it's a, it's it's a it's a it's it's a hard truth. I mean, people don't want to hear the truth, but sometimes it could save you. It could save your child's life, or it could it could prevent your child from getting molested, okay? Because I'm starting to hear more and more cases of not just young girls, but young boys being molested. We're starting to hear more and more of these cases by these predators. And a lot of times, a lot of times men do prey on single mothers. I'm so glad that now I, I say I'm an ex-Jehovah Witness, which I am. But in a sense, uh, being in being in the organization was kind of a protection because I didn't because you you could only date people that's in the organization. Of course, there are predators in the organization. To let the truth be told, there's predators in that organization. But I didn't I didn't I stopped dating because I was in the organization. I stopped dating. 
Because you can only date people in the organization. And so it, it, I didn't put my sons in a position to have some strange man in the house. Okay. And although I did wanted to get married at that time, but in a sense, I'm kind of glad that I didn't subject my sons to a strange man, you know? And like I said, I'm not saying all men, but a good percentage of men are predators. And a lot of men hook up, all these men talking about how they don't want to hook up with single mothers and all this kind of stuff. Um, you have to be particularly careful if a man is willing to hook up with you and, and hook up with you when you are a single mother because that's what peach was talking about and a lot of women didn't want to hear it because re reason why it's because see reason why i'm glad she talked about that because we're hearing more of more of cases of children being molested i'm reading in blogs and on people's youtube women talking about being molested by their stepfather in some cases it is their biological father by their stepfather and the mothers are not doing nothing about it the mothers are sitting there blaming the daughter i listened to a lady tell a story on facebook how her uh, stepfather molested her and her mother didn't believe her I, i'm i'm constantly hearing cases like this and we're hearing about it more and more and more single mothers need to be careful i say I suggest wait until the children are grown before you start dating and even thinking about getting married. Married, You must put your children first. Mothers must put their children first. They must put their children first. And not bring random men around your kids. Because you're hearing more and more of these cases. It's getting really disturbing. This guy was honest about it. And I think she should be grateful that he was honest about it. But a lot of men are not honest about it. A lot of men will try to slip around with your daughter. And they're molesting boys too. It's not just the girls. They're doing it to the little boys too. And a lot of these men are predators. And then, you know, if, particularly if you're a single mother... If you are a single mother, you need to vet, 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 vet. Check backgrounds. Pray, pray, pray. And I mean that. I really mean that. Because I'm glad that I didn't put my sons in that. Subject my sons to some strange guy. Because it's a lot of it going on. It is, and it's going on more and more, you know, because the Bible talks about the last days and, and it, it's increasing. All this stuff is increasing and it's going on more and more. And single mothers need to be careful. Single mothers, you have to put your children first. If you love your children, you need to put them first. And a lot of women are putting off dating and marriage until their children get of age. Yes. Yes. And not subjecting because a lot of these single men, um, because a, a, a lot of these men are talking about they don't want to deal with single mothers. So you have to be suspicious of the ones that are willing to deal with single mothers. You have to question. You have to be, you have to be very, very um, uh, suspicious of a man. That is all of a sudden willing to jump up and play stepdaddy. Particularly if your daughter is getting up there in age. You really, really, really got to be careful, ladies. Get out of fantasy land. I was in fantasy land too. Oh, I want a father for my kids. I want a father for... We, I, was in, I, I was guilty. I was guilty. I was in fantasy land too. But it ain't what you're thinking it's going to be. Now, I'm not saying that in real. Yeah, in some cases, the guy uh, is for the right things. But the, all this stuff is happening more and more. And it's like a red flag that single mothers need to be aware of this type of thing. 
Okay, single mothers need to be more aware. And don't be so hard up for a man. I know. I know you don't want to do it by yourself. I know you don't. I know that. I. I, I didn't. I didn't either. But you got to put your children first. If you truly love your children, you need to put them first. And the best thing to do is to put off dating and even marriage. Until the children, it's not too late. Until they get of age. Lots of women date later and marry later in life. It's not going to be too late. Because a lot of these men, is, and it's, I'm, it's happening more and more. And that's what concerns me. And you know, I'm, I got a vested interest in single mothers because I was a single mother. And... Single mothers need to be, be really vigilant and, and, and need to really, really, really be mindful and not be letting these random men around your kids because they're messing with boys now too. This is very disturbing with that man. It, it, I don't even want to play the clip. Go and find the clip and play it because it, it's very disturbing. Very disturbing. She was one of the she was one of the fortunate ones that this man let her know that he was a predator. Just think of all the all the cases where the men didn't give the mother a heads up and he messed with the kids behind the daughters behind her back. And a lot of mothers will sit up there and not believe the daughter, but even get on top of that will get mad at the daughter. Because it's so hard up for a man. Don't be so hard up for a man. This is why it's so important to decenter men. Even if you desire marriage, it's so it's so important to decenter men. You know, we're not just saying that because we're bitter. It, I mean, it's it, it can literally save your life. It can save your life. It can save your kids' life. It can keep them from being molested. These women are so are so male centered and so focused, hyper focused on being married and being with a man that they're disregarding their children. And that's a problem. That's problematic. So it, it, it's even if you desire marriage, you still need to decenter men because you're going to make better choices. You know, and so single mothers just need to be vigilant. That's what I'm trying to say. And they need to be aware. It's a lot of these predators out here. Be on the lookout for a man that's all of a sudden wanting to jump up and play stepdaddy. That's suspect. And you need to, you really, 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 really need to be on the lookout because this 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 uh it's getting worse and worse because we're in our last days and the bible bible prophecy is being fulfilled and it's it's getting worse and worse he talks about women women letting these 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 men in you know and all that kind of stuff so women got to be careful you got to put your children first, ladies, single moms. I know it's hard to be alone. I know it's hard doing it by yourself. It was hard for me. But but you got to put God first. God is able. And he will pray for endurance. Pray that God gives you endurance. He will help you to endure. He, he did for me. I'm living testimony. He gave me endurance. He helped me to endure. Jehovah God did. He helped me to endure. You pray and ask God to help you endure. He will help you endure single motherhood to get through it. But you, if you really truly love your children, you need to put them first. I don't no longer have any regrets about not getting married. Because I'm glad that I did put my children first. I first decided to abstain and stop dating. Then I become, you know, decided to dedicate my life to God. It might have not have been the right organization, but 
I was able to make better choices. And even if you're in that, there's a lot of it going on in religious organizations, but that's a whole nother video. But, but so you, you, you when single mothers just gotta be, this gotta be on top of it. You gotta stay prayed up and not stop. And don't let these predators around your children. Don't be so hyper-focused on being married and being with a man that you disregard your children. I know somebody that got her children taken away. I know somebody that had her children taken away because she let a predator come in and molest her children. And she got all of them taken away. Yes. It's happening more and more. And these guys are preying on single mothers. All right. Hit me up in the comments section if you... You guys uh, seen that clip or you heard it or because it's circulating on YouTube and um, TikTok. And let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what your thoughts are on single mothers. Um, do you think that single mothers should wait until the children get of age to date and marry? You know, and not taking a chance and letting men around their children. Hit me up in that comment section. Let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell. Until the next video, you guys be blessed.